Uh, good evening, guys. Uh, Sora Bell here. I just came to talk to you guys about the uh, ban list and give my opinions on it uh, in detail. I'll try not to make it a super long one. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing I wanted to mention is that I noticed that, uh, like, I, I've already seen the list. This isn't going to be one of those, let's hide it. Uh, Union Carrier, Utopic Zexel, Calamities ban, right? Um, I agree with the Zexel ban. I think the new support was going to be stupid. Um, the card, um, ZS Arm Sage. That card uh, pretty much breaks Zexel in any deck that could normal summon a level 4 or just had a predominant, you know, uh, a predominant amount of them in their deck. So I wouldn't even like... It, it, I'm not even surprised this card ended up here. Um, True King of All Calamities, this card's degenerate. It doesn't promote interaction. Um, while it did allow trap decks to see a bit of a resurgence because it doesn't really do much to disable them, Ultimately, it was healthier for this card to be banned than it was to keep it around. And no sort of false pretense about how beneficial it was to the metagame. It, it's a pretty toxic card over around. Uh, Union Carrier. I would say I was very surprised by this. Um, I was not expecting it. Uh, I think this hit... While not necessarily unwarranted, I mean, Union Carrier, Union Carrier has definitely been a recurring problem over the format. I am genuinely surprised that it's found its way on the list. So, um, I, th I mean, it was a matter of time, right? I feel like this card is just an avatar for degeneracy. It's never, it's never really been a balanced or fair card. I, don't, I think no, everyone can agree to that. So. I'm sorry for ABC. They they kind of just keep taking the punches. Um, oh well, good riddance in my opinion. Also, Dragon Buster was removed obviously because of this card here. So, not much to say about that. That card should have never been banned in the first place. Uh, Cyber Angel Ben 10 Limited. So yes, yes, yes. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, I felt this card was a, a tad bit too unfair in the Drytron strategy. However, I said that in the confines of them continuing to have Union Carrier. So I'm very surprised that Konami decided to take both of these tools from them. So Drytron definitely isn't going to be a tier strategy anymore. Maybe you'll see it like Rogue Tier 3. But I can assure you this deck is absolutely like gutted for the competitive... Uh, for com prolonged competitive viability it just doesn't it just doesn't have the consistency anymore um so moving on uh nothing to see here uh rest rest in peace light stage uh, i knew what this was going to be um like i said this card had no reason being on the list firewall dragon it's got errata though i think this is the first time they've ever released a card but given a time window on when you can be played with the firewall dragon so that's interesting I hope we get to see stuff like that for future erratas. Um, hmm. Let's see. The Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish. Um, I don't think... I mean, like, this card is like one or none. Um, maybe they'll play two, but they're definitely not going to be playing three of this card. So, who cares? Deloren, uh, this card was errata to my knowledge, so I don't think this is a problem. Uh, Ignister Prominence, the blasting Draco Slayer. This card should have been at three a long time ago, and I'm really happy to see it's finally moving up the list. I think Pendulum should have got a lot more than Ignister, but this card generates a lot of advantage for Pendulums just by being a easy accessible level four, uh, level eight synchro that uh, Harmonizing Magician can get to, or uh, luster pendulum obviously so i may be experimenting with this and in doremi chords i probably would only play two um maybe you could justify three but i think two is fine this way you can use one for playmaking potential and the other for uh, its actual like removal effect cards are really strong so i'm glad to have it back 
rank up magic argent chaos force this was banned because of um zexel zexel's gone so this can come back not much to say there true king's return draco's gonna need a lot more than this to matter um so that's that the unlimits all in all pretty underwhelming i was hoping for a little bit more to move up the list um let's talk about things that i would have liked to come back but didn't that i felt should have came back um either astrograph sorcerer should have came back um skull corbat joker definitely should have came back there's no reason why this is still on the list um heavy metaphors electromite right pendulum should have gotten something back here that wasn't just a, a level eight synchro that they have to commit all the way past pendulum summon to make so very disappointed that that's still on the list um or at least none of these cards came back um everything here is fine let's see let's see let's see uh i don't think any any of these spells needed to necessarily move off the forbidden or limited list um for the limited section double iris magician should have been to went to three i don't know why this is still at one what waters are they even testing um ah white dragon wyvern burster uh this card should have been banned I don't know why it's still legal. Um, Chaos Space and Dragon Link it makes absolutely no sense. Um, people are complaining about Guard Dragon LP. I can assure you LP is not the problem. It's uh, cards like this and Quick Launch that allow them to amass what? Plus three, plus four before they actually like commit to the normal summon. Like by the time LP comes out, they've already searched like three times and made a Link 2. It's just insane to think that banning that one Link monster is going to completely shut down what that deck is trying to do. It's not. In fact, banning LP would just kill all other dragon decks that need it. Not this one. So I really want this card to be banned. I don't think it's very fair at all. At least while Chaos Space is legal. Like, it's on the limited section, and I can still play four copies of that. This card. And it makes absolutely no sense. Um, uh, might as well talk about Quick Launch. I think Quick Launch also should have been limited. If if e telly is going to be limited that card has no reason being at three when it's e telly with a higher ceiling and better targets right like level four dragon that's dark that can pop a card and special summon another dragon from the deck that you need for a synchro or an xc play just without even you considering your normal summon that's just way too much advantage that quick launch generates um so that card should not stay at three but I mean, it's, if, if they're gonna leave it, I'm gonna I'm gonna abuse it in some way. So I look forward to a potential rocket dragon made variant I might explore now that True King of All Calamities is gone. Um, who knows? Depends on what I decide to do. I might not even give this much attention because of the Dragoonity cards are coming, and I should probably focus my time on that since we have like this weird gray period of not having the calamities combo be viable anymore but we still have the dragoonity deck that's going to shape up everything so yeah and that support is why i want dragon link to take some hits now just because i really want i would rather force them to use the dragoonity support with lp than to like have it all and like just experiment with what they think is good i really don't like that deck good stuff decks like that really shouldn't be allowed to exist in Yu-Gi-Oh. But we keep running into this problem. And it's it's really just Konami, right? Anyways, that's going to be all for the video, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys have a great evening. Take care.